Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to a new week of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. This morning we're in Psalms uh, beginning this week and we're in Psalm 145 and verse 7 reading from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for this day. Lord, you send the, the sun and the rain and you grow the flowers that are planted, the trees, the grass. You provide abundantly for all of your creation. And we worship and adore you. And so, God, as we come into your holy presence this day, Lord, would you speak into our words, into our hearts a word of encouragement and hope as we reflect on your holy scriptures. Lord, we ask this in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Psalm 145, verse 7. Everyone will share the story of your wonderful goodness. They will sing with joy about your righteousness. This Psalm of David is a psalm proclaiming the great and mighty works of God and our response to them. And so David is encouraging us that is, all who are followers of God, all who believe in the saving grace of Jesus Christ, to share the story of God's wonderful goodness. Story is such an important part of our lives, of the lives of humanity, of culture. One of the great sadnesses of uh, the residential school system of our First Nations people and of that culture is that so much of their story, their history, is lost. And they're making great strides to reclaim their story. And it's important for us to continue to tell our stories. And we cannot tell our stories without proclaiming the goodness and the greatness of our God. Because our story is his story. We exist because he first existed. And as so many places in scripture tell us, we love because he loved us first. We are saved because of his saving grace. We live and move and have our being in and through Him. You see, our story cannot be separated from His story. And so David is saying, everyone will share the story of your wonderful goodness. The term that the church uses is testimony. Our testimony proclaims the wonderful goodness of God. And, and our testimony doesn't need to be a half hour or 45 minutes long. Our testimony can be a short couple of sentences. Indeed, each week we should have a new testimony of how God has worked in and through us or revealed himself in a powerful way to us this week. Indeed, our gathering together on the Sabbath, on the Lord's Day, on Sunday morning, to worship the Lord in spirit and truth is ideally the opportunity for us to do what David is saying here, to share the story of God's wonderful goodness, to share our testimony of God's working in our lives and to reflect on his holy scriptures which proclaim his wonderful goodness, his wonderful works. So David says, they will sing with joy about your righteousness. So much of the hymnody and the, and the songs that we sing in worship speak of the joy of the Lord. And we sing with joy and thanksgiving as we praise him for all the ways and means by which he 
ministers to us, provides for us, and leads us. And so, friends, I hope that as you go about your day today, that you will meditate on this verse, that, that you will ask the Lord to bring this verse to, to your mind as you go about your day, that, that He will give you opportunities to share the story of His wonderful goodness, of His righteousness. That as you go about your day, you will have a song in your heart that sings for joy His wonderful goodness and righteousness. That you will give Him all the praise and the glory. Not only for what He has done, but what He is doing even in the present, here and now, and what He will do in the future. Because He has promised to go before us and behind us, and to uphold us with His mighty and outstretched hand. And so, friends, as David proclaimed this truth about God, may this become your truth, and may it lead you and uphold you this day for His glory. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for your word, which guides us and upholds us in your love and your grace. Father, we thank you for your wonderful goodness and for your righteousness. And Lord, may we reflect your goodness. May your joy abide in us and radiate from us. As we sing songs of praise and glory to you. And Lord, may we not be shy or timid or afraid to share the story of your wonderful goodness revealed to us in our lives and your holy scriptures. Lord, use us and lead us according to your will and for your glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures. So, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.